So the next part of the PDM uh, installation is to install the devices. Okay, and here you can see on my desktop I've got a folder with the complete device library on, um, which is good if you require that. But as I alluded to in the previous video, that takes a long while to install. So if you're only using it to configure, say, some radars from Siemens or ENH, then you can quickly finish the install off by just installing the device that you need to install, which is a very, very quick operation. This is also true that if a new device comes out, you can add it to the library. So you won't be paying for these EDDs. So uh, your library may have 5,000 devices on, or it may have two on because you only do radars. But when the new radar comes out, you need the new file. So you can download that. The first thing you need to do is to download the EDD. And I'm going to show you how to do that on the Siemens website. But if you go to any manufacturer and contact their tech support and ask for the PDM EDD, they should be able to give you that either as a zip or as a file to install that into PDM. So I'm going to show you how to, to get individual EDDs uh, from Siemens. Um, the easiest way is to, on Google or another search engine, type in Siemens SIOS, industry support, will come up as one of the top hits. And then when you're in here, go to product support. And it's, it's really up to you how you search, but um, the, the most effective way is to go to automation technology and you'll see process instrumentation we're going to do flow and we're going to do the Coriolis meter and the new Coriolis meter the FCT030 so then you have to select downloads and if there's anything new you'll see at the top and I can see here EDD for heart, revision 4, and then we'll download that. So when we download that, oops, I've accidentally downloaded it twice, we'll show that in the folder, and there it is. So, that on my desktop. So once we've downloaded it, we have a zip file on our desktop and we open the device integration manager and it's come up with demo mode because we have to do the final step but that won't stop us from installing the devices so I'm going to accept the uh, license agreement and then if I move this over here I can install I'll look on my desktop that one device if I open that up It will read it into here so when I've got a black circle like that that means it's not installed in my library or not integrated in my library now, now it's ready it will have this blue icon that says integration if we click on that you should get a green tick so look out for that green tick if, you, if it hasn't gone to that then it hasn't installed it so the other option is to install the full catalogue. So if I now, it's not zipped because I've already unzipped it, so this is a CD2. So if I click on that and have a look for my CD2 and do OK, that's as far as I need to look. I don't need to look further down, and you'll start to see some equal signs. If I, you'll see all these different devices going in, not just Siemens. Um, so some of the devices have already been installed. Remember, on the first part of the installation, it installed 281 devices. So you'll see those being replicated here with the equal sign. So this is a bit that takes time now. So you need to go off and get that cup of coffee or that cup of tea. Why it uh, reads all of these. 
if you're using the CD to install these, it could take quite a while. So it's my advice to really take a little bit of time at the beginning to download the library in digital format and, and then um, it will speed up this part of the installation. So it took about 10 minutes to, to read all of those. Um, at this stage, don't close the window down because you'll have to do that again. What we need to do is integrate all of these devices into our installation. Okay. Um, so to do that, this blue icon here has now become available. It says integration. And we click on that and it's going to install all of those. If any error messages occur during this, this installation, you'll get an error log pop up and you can send that error log off to tech support and that'll tell you what's wrong. Normally, it's files that are corrupt when you've been transferring it from one device to another, so, so just be careful. So again, this is the last bit. 5,000 devices are now being integrated into your catalogue. So you can see here now the uh, process is finished. And if we scroll down, you'll see all of the uh, products there installed. So that concludes installing the catalogue. So it took a little bit longer. But the next stage, final stage, is installing your licenses. So thank you very much for listening.